Hi everyone, it is Patty with It's Natural. Welcome. We're going to get started into food recalls for the, I'm going to take my face off of here real quick so you can see this. <laughs> food recall update September 28th through um, October 2nd, 2019. Uh, we have allergens, arsenic, and listeria again. Can you believe that? It's just craziness. So let's go ahead and get started. We only have FDA. Um, and then let's go ahead and get started here. So, like I said, we only have the FDA. It's uh, We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. We have 13. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Um, and like I said, it's only the FDA and the FDA just piled out with more um, from the 2nd of October through the 9th. So I'm going to do this video really quickly and then I'll go ahead and do another one so we're all caught up. So we've got Dorset cheese voluntarily recalling by North Atlantic and Northeast Whole Foods market and this is uh, Listeria and the product description is for Dorset cheese and it looks like it was Whole Foods stores in the Northeast and North Atlantic um, they were sold at the Whole Foods in Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York and Rhode Island so the affected product was cut and wrapped in plastic with a Whole Foods market scale label. Identifiably is the code 97776. And by cell dates 10-30-2019, uh, there has been no illness has been reported. Let's see if there has a label here. So it's just a regular product label, a uh, Whole Foods product label. So raw milk, Dorset. Whole Foods right there. So our next one here, all right, is Selic Products and Olithorn Limited issues a voluntary worldwide recall of select unflavored powder and essential factor cells or energy unflavored powder. This is due to arsenic and lead. Yikes. Uh, multi-mineral and vitamin supplement that's an unflavored powder they were out of New York and it says their risk statements long-term exposure to inorganic arsenic has been associated with skin disorders and increased risk of skin bladder and lung cancer it says taking more than two servings daily potentially can result in accumulation of lead in the body over time and um, they have not received any reports uh, of adverse reactions to the product from their recall date. And it looks like they have a lot. And they were distributed via retail and the internet to the United States and to individual customers in Canada, United Kingdom, Netherlands, uh, Switzerland, France. Croatia, Romania, Russia, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, Singapore, China, India, Thailand, and Japan. Um, so, yeah. Wow. Let's see if there's a label here. I've never seen this. Select. Cell, cell, select. Cell energy. I've never seen this type of label before. All right, so there we have that. Let's go to number three here. Okay, so consider Bard, Bardwell Farm recalls Dorset, Slybro, and experience because of possible health risk. Listeria, and it's again cheeses. So they have two pound wheel cheeses uh, two units per case. They're out of Vermont. And, oh my gosh, 
they've got a lot here. Um, Slybro, Dorset, and Experience are the name of the products. And they're come in cases that they were distributing in California, Massachusetts, um, New York, Texas, and Vermont. Because of listeria, there has been no illnesses that have been reported. Let's see if we can see a label here. Okay. So homemade goat cheese, homemade cow cheese, homemade cow cheese. So these are little packets. I thought they would be, one of them said two pound bat, two pound. Um, so maybe they're just doing this for the purpose of taking the picture so you can see it. All right, so the next recall we have, number four on the FDA list, is Rongxing Trading. New York issues an allergy alert of undeclared milk and eggs in Glam Day uh, Nugget Candy. Now, this was um, this is on here again, but it looks like it's from a different type of uh, candy. Nugget Candy, they're out of New York, Brooklyn, New York. They're recalling their six ounce packages of Glam Day Nugget Candy um, because it wasn't declared milk and uh, egg on the label. As an allergen, they were distributed nationwide in retail stores and throughout mail. Um, there has been no illnesses have been reported. So let's look at the labeling here. All right, so let's go to number five, I think. Okay, so Northern Tier Bakery issues voluntary recall. Um, this is for Listeria for their chicken salad sandwiches. So the brand name is Super Mom's Hometown Kitchen. And they're out of Minnesota. Voluntary recalling their chicken salad sandwiches sold under the brand name Super Mom's and the brand name Hometown Chicken. They were available at Speedway and other retail convenience stores in Minnesota and Wisconsin. They said they're voluntarily recalling because of their chicken supplier, Tip Top Poultry, and Georgia um, informed the bakery of the potential contamination of listeria. There has been no illnesses. All the products, uh, says no other products are affected by the recall. And uh, let's look at the photo here. So this is Super Mom's Kitchen. And it's only in convenience stores like gas station convenience stores. And uh, there we got that one. Okay, here we go. Our next one is Mrs. Stratton's announces voluntary recall response follows recall notification of chicken supplier. So I think this is about the same thing, chicken and tuna salad products. So the brand name is Mrs. Stratton's Star, Ballard Farms, Laura Lynn, and more. So it says, out of the abundance of caution for the safety of our customers, Top Tip Poultry um, was contaminated with listeria. So all of the people that use their services are recalling their products also. So there has been no product, uh, no illnesses been reported. And the recall is the United States. It doesn't say exactly where, um, let's see, it just says United States here. You can get a full refund back, and here's all the different uh, Piggly Wigglies, Laura Lynn, Mrs. Stratton's, Beth, uh, Fresh Buy, IGA, Star. Um, so these are already pre-made sandwiches. And let's see if we can see. Nope, they did not leave a uh, label. So I don't know if all these are chicken-based or not with the listeria outbreak. Um, it, this is probably, this is another one. EA Swain announces products recall due to possible listeria contamination. It's same thing. Product is sandwiches. So there were the pre-made sandwiches. And they're going under the uh, different company names and brand names, but they get all their supplies from Tip Top Poultry. So um, I'm thinking that this is the potential for Listeria. 
um, it says announces a recall of multiple products due to possible contamination of listeria. It, again, it says Tip Top Poultry is recalled um, their from their chicken salad. Uh, so it says you can call their customer hotline. Affected products have been delivered through the United States, Guam, and Hawaii. For let's see, it says through convenience stores and groceries and mass retail outlets, you can return it for a full purchase. And here's all of the lot numbers. Yikes, that's a lot. So they're recalling all this is Market Sandwiches, Ranch Chicken Salad, and this one is the Cranberry Almond Chicken Salad Wedge. Hi, oh, my goodness, everything bagel. So those pre-packaged, I don't know if you've gone to the grocery, not the grocery store, but like I went to the convenience store today and got some gas and I went in there and they had, you know, a whole refrigerator full of these ready-made sandwiches. So this is what those are and they're being all recalled. So if you do have any of those in your refrigerator by any chance, and this is a very blurred picture of the, um, of the sandwich. So again, it says egg, egg dill, ranch chicken. I think there was chicken salad, tuna salad, cranberry almond chicken salad. So you can see the different packaging. So if you've purchased any of those and you've uh, kept them in your refrigerator, you can return it for a full refund. And Archer Farms, that's uh, Target. So Target brand. see what's next here we've got quite a bit more we've got one two three four five six seven more again Corbin's Corbin's issues a recall of select chicken salad products due to possible listeria so again this is the chicken containing products included in sandwiches pasta salads and spreads Corbin's is recalling their chicken salads um, from the listeria from tip top poultry in Georgia they were distributed and sold at Corburn's and Cash Wide stores in Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Marketplace Foods in Western Wisconsin. So there is quite a few again. This, this list is amazing. Um, let's see if they have a picture of it. Yes, they do. Here we go. All right. So Tip Top Poultry that was on the previous, my previous video, now all the companies that uh, use their services as recalling all their products. And I bet it's all of these too, the rest of these. Um, no, this one's different. Mikhail Seafood recalls tuna products or possible stromboid poisoning. Um, they're out of Florida. Is recalling their frozen wild caught yellow fin tuna, poke cubes, tuna loins, tuna ground meat, and six ounce tuna steaks because of the potential of related of histamine. And um, the histamines can produce an allergic reaction called Scrum Boyd fish poisoning. And let's see here. They were sold to customers in Maryland, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Florida, Texas, Alabama, North Carolina, California, Michigan, Rhode Island, U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Martin, and Grand, Grand Cayman. And here is the list. Wow. So there's been four reported illnesses. Goodness. Have been confirmed as of October 1st. Um, they believe it's isolated, but they're taking precautionary measures. So if you have this and you have any questions, you can return it or you can call their hotline here. It says um, their hotline Monday through Friday is 954-935-0133. And it does not have, it looks like Jennifer or Margarita that you can call. Uh, it says, let's see here, customers who receive the lot numbers should not consume them. 
quarantine until return to the supplier or for you can get a full refund for that. I think there's only two more actually. Um, Lapara Foods issues a recall on bulk chicken salads and chicken salad sandwiches due to listeria. I bet this is the same one again. Um, Lapara Foods. Okay. This one. Um, exclusively by Lapraya Foods in Warren, Michigan, food service and retail stores throughout Florida, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, ten Tennessee, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. So this doesn't say that it was part of the Tip Top Poultry. So it must be a different one, yeah. So no illnesses have been reported. The shipping date was August 25th. Um, you can return them. Let's see if it has a product label here. Here we go. Old time white meat chicken salad. I haven't seen this brand at all. All right. I think we have one more left. Euphoria Fancy Food Recalls Cap Capiton K sal Salmon Fillets due to possible health risk. This is just an update. Um, I don't know why it's saying it's an update. It's recalling their 7.5 ounce package of Capiton Hey, salmon slightly salted pieces because of their com uh, contamination of listeria. Let's see here. Do, do, do. There's been no illnesses. It was discovered by the New York State Department of Agriculture and Market Food Inspectors. And they found presence of listeria. And they're suggesting you not to consume it. You can get it back for a full refund. And yeah, this was the same stuff as last time. So they must have had found some more with different lot numbers. Okay. So that is it for the 28th through the 2nd and then I'm going to do another one from the 2nd through the 9th because there's a whole bunch more and I didn't want to keep this video um, going on forever so I'm just breaking it up into two pieces so thank you for watching and make sure you like subscribe and share and I will catch you in my next video talk at you soon bye for now